If by libertarian we mean people who read Reason magazine, call themselves libertarians, think of themselves as being part of the libertarian movement, read the Cato website, uh, then there's maybe 100,000 of those people. If you think about people who vote for some Libertarian Party candidates, then we might be talking three or four percent of the public. Gallup every year does a poll where they ask two questions, one about economic freedom, one about personal freedom, and they find 20 to 25 percent of the electorate gives a Libertarian answer on both of those questions. In 2006, Cato did its own poll with Zogby, and we ask, uh, we, we ask half of the sample two different questions. For one half of the sample, we ask them, would you describe yourself as fiscally conservative and socially liberal, which is a very broad definition of libertarian, and 59% of respondents said they were fiscally conservative and socially liberal. We ask the other half of the sample a different question. We said, would you describe yourself as fiscally conservative and socially liberal, also known as libertarian? And we knew, well, you'll get fewer people when you make them accept this word, but we still got 44%. So you could say the 44% is sort of a potential number of people who aren't really liberal or conservative in modern terms, who think of themselves as being at least in a libertarian direction on both uh, directions and are willing to be called libertarian if you tell them that's what it means. Now, David Kirby and I in the libertarian vote, we used a tougher screen than Gallup does. We asked people three questions and we said, if you give a libertarian answer to all three questions, then we're going to call you a libertarian voter. And for that, we get 15 to 18 percent of the population. So when we talk about the libertarian vote, that's really the group we're talking about.